welcome back to your Monday edition of Afternoon Express. And of course, joining us in the loft, we've got Nicole Austin. Welcome, girl. Hey, Pani. How do you mean? <laughs> Good like, to be here at this very formal table. <laughs> I know, I love it like the queen that you are. But look, Nicole, I mean, I'm not blessed enough to be a mother yet. But I can only imagine, Domi, how important it is to feed your kids nutritious meals and nutritious food. Absolutely, and I think the pressure we face as moms is immense, right? It is, but luckily, with Sea Harvest and McCain, they've made it very simple for us because of the Friends in Your Freezer campaign. Mm. I got to cook with Siba and make a meal that is very simple and easy, fish, goujons and chips for mm. her sons. I got to meet the two of them, they're so adorable. <laughs> but anyway, let's quickly have a look at it, Balissa. It was nice, easy, simple. I had lots of fun, though. <laughs> I am so excited because today I'm visiting Usiba Mdongana, who's going to be showing me how to make a simple, nutritious meal at home for her kids. Hi, Siba. Hello. How are you? Good, and how are you? Hi, guys. Thank you so much for having me. So, Dumi, you and I are going to cook lunch, and as for these young ones, they're going to be doing their homework. So, bye. Oh, no. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> There are times where I get so busy <laughs> with my life. I am a mother of four. I do run a restaurant. I do run uh, my own company. So time is a very scarce resource. So there are times where I don't have time to cook like a long, um, slow braised lamb. And I do have certain ingredients that I keep in my fridge and sometimes in my freezer that are just amazing, healthy and nutritious because I'm cooking for, for children. That is key for me. Today, to me, I'm going to be making fish goujons, which is something I make for my kids for lunch um, when it is after school, especially while they're doing homework. And I want to take you through the recipe. I use um, some of my friends in the <laughs> freezer, which are very convenient for me to have as a standby ingredient or ingredients. And my first ingredient is my hake, and then I've got some egg, uh, which I've bitten, and I've got some parmesan cheese, and then I've got a range of seasonings. The first one is chicken stock and it's the powder. It gives such a lovely flavor. I also have some onion powder mixed with garlic powder as well as some any dried herbs that you may have at home. And then I also need some salt and paper for seasoning. Another key ingredient is your cornstarch or your corn flour because it helps with the binding and it also helps with making it nice and crispy. Over here, I've got a mixture of breadcrumbs and a little bit of panko because I want them to be nice and crunchy even though they are baked. Siba, I mean, you've got four children and you've mentioned that they all have different palates. One has got a very well-versed palate. The others just like to keep it simple. Would you say that this is perhaps one of the dishes where everyone is happy? I most certainly would say yes. Reason being is that it's fish, they all love it, and it's, it's nice and crunchy. They love that too, they love the into texture. And it's also great for us as, you know, as parents because it's tasty and it's healthy. The reason why it's very important to, for me to cook with my kids instead of cooking for them is that I get a buy-in. And in the process, I get to tell them, this is good for this, this is good for that. Even if they don't eat a whole bunch of it, but at least they'll eat a little bit of it. I mean, Siva, you're a businesswoman running businesses, restaurants, doing so much. So besides the convenience of this recipe, what else do you love about it? I love the fact that it is, um, it's fish and it's seafood. It's a healthy option for my kids. My children love seafood the most, the bit more nibblers. So uh, when I cook for them, I don't make big meals. I make smaller chunks of meals because it's not too intimidating for them. And a top tip is that you must place it back in the egg because, and then back again here, because that really makes it nice and crunchy, especially if you're going to place it in the oven. The other thing I absolutely love about it is we all know that fish and chips, it's always about the crust on that fish. Cooking for me is the best way to bond with the family. I remember the times I've had with my parents, especially my mom, spending time with her um, in the kitchen and my dad in the garden. Those were the best memories and that's what I want to bring for my family. Perfect. Now, to make this even more convenient, I'm going to place my chips and they're oven baked. And the lovely thing about it is that you've got less dishes to wash afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> These go into the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Now halfway through the cooking process, which is 10 minutes, I'm going to flip them over so that they're crunchy on either end. Yummy. 
I often find that people get very intimidated with experimenting with new products or new ingredients um, and often they will not even want to touch it and eat what they used to. But my advice to them is that without experimenting you don't learn. Once you try a little bit of something different from what you know, your, your palate grows. And for me, I didn't grow up eating you know, everything I eat now. It took me time in order for me to appreciate it at the level in which I do. You give me oysters now, I'll gobble them. Maybe 10 years ago I would have said no. So it's good to experiment. Oh wow, Siba, that looks absolutely amazing. I mean, the smells coming from that tray are absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try this. And to pair with the fish and chips, I make a very simple sauce. It's got tomato sauce, some mayonnaise, and a little bit of sweet chili mixed together. Boom. I'm going to call the kids Lina and Lenuabo. It's so fresh. The crust, you know, that crumbing that you did is so nice and crispy. The seasoning. It's perfect. It's not over salted. You can taste all the herbs that you put in there. The parmesan. Winner, winner chicken dinner. Well, winner, winner fish dinner in this case. <laughs> this tastes amazing. Now, what a lovely afternoon I had. I finally got to meet Siba and two of her amazing kids. We also made a tasty dish in 20 minutes. Now, that's an awesome way to use the friends in your freezer. have brought fun and creativity back into our kitchen. Reimagine mealtime with hashtag friends in your freezer and stand a chance to win one of 10 PlayStation 5 consoles when you buy any one Sea Harvest and one McCain product. Don't forget to keep your till slip. T's and C's apply.